What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another training guide. I'm gonna go through this quickly. A lot of people asking me about Pavard. This guy is a fantastic centre back. I know he's down as a right back, but he's kind of in the same ilk and the same mould as uh, Tommy Asu in that he's rated way higher as centre back. It doesn't gonna and it's not gonna show up on the card. Now he does have defensive fullback and early crosser as a play style and a tr and a playing style and a. AI playing styles here as you see so he is down as a defensive full back and he's also a, a got early crosser long ball expert and long ranger so he's a bit of a baller but I think playing him with the way the game plays at the moment you kind of ignore a lot of that and play him as a center back right so the first build that we're going to show you if you have got your heart set on having a defensive minded right back there is no real better option than him I mean especially if you're looking for standard players and comparing him he is an awesome awesome card to get if you are looking for a very solid player and you know what you're doing, right? Yes, he does have, have weaknesses, um, as you can see here, but we're just going to be focusing on his passing, get that to 78. We're also going to get the dribbling up. We're going to get the ball control to 78. Still not wasting too many points here. We're going to get that to 80 to bring the balance up. We're going to get this bit of an engine 80 there as well. We're going to throw maybe maybe six into uh, defense. And then we're also going to pop on a couple onto jump as well to be able to get those back post clearances, right? Once you get him at this route or at this point, you can go whichever route you want with him, right? If you are really confident on the ball and you like to dribble a bit, bring the ball control up to 80. If you want to pass a little bit more, bring the loft to pass up about 80. If you want to target man in the box like Giroud or Collar or um, I was going to say Berbatov there, but I meant uh, Van Basten or somebody like that if you've got a legend. Um, but if you want a little bit of extra pep in your step, you can also you know improve the stamina if he's going to be your main right back. I don't think that this is the best version of him. Um, even though you've got man marking, interception, slide and tackle, acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit, and the crossing and all the passing, yes, he is a great option, but there are better wing backs in the game if you're playing a 3-5-2. The version of him that I would go is this 89 rated right back that's going to be a 96 overall as a center back, which is incredible. Now, watch how we break down this card, right? Firstly, we're going to have 90 aggression, 97 awareness, which is going to be maxed out with the player form arrow. He does have unwavering form, as you see there. We're also going to have 93 engagement and 93 tackling with 81 header and, of course, 85 jump. He's no small guy either. He's fairly tall. So we will need to put heading and blocker on this player if we want to turn him meta. Like, I mean, absolutely incredible. He does have acrobatic clearance and aerial superiority blocker um, would be huge on this card as well i would also probably say that you could do one touch pass if you're playing a lot of quick counter or long ball counter that would always help as well but it just depends on whether you want to use that on this card right now when you are looking at players like this it's always playing them as a center back as part of a back three similar to how you would play cardoba or somebody else like kunde or somebody like that which brings us to our alternative player, which is a 94 rated center back standard Kunde, right? So Kunde is a very similar player. You've got similar defensive stats, similar speed and acceleration, similar physical contact and jump and a header. He also has better player skills, such as heading man marking, interception and blocker with acrobatic clearance, slide and tackle and area superiority and fighting spirit. So if you want to stay free to play, I definitely do recommend Kunde. But this version of Pavard, lads, and really any version of Pavard, even his standard card had goes 31 levels, you can get this standard version, and this just goes to show you how finely balanced the cards are, right? If you go um, into a center back uh, role with this card, you can actually turn him quite beastly as well, in that you'll still have the defensive stats quite high, not as high as this card that we see here, but there has been multiple versions of him, so keep that in mind when you are training him, I would not train him as a right back, but let me know your thoughts. If you wanted a really solid back four, you could have him as a brilliant defensive full back with man marking on, which would uh, which would really, you know, pin down uh, the opposition's wingers. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back soon. Definitely recommend him if you do get him, train him up, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.